Yesterday, Blender just released the official 3.1, and it's a really great release. It got many features like M1 GPU rendering, a lot of new node for the geometry node. This time, we will use this very very useful extrude mesh for this effect. This time, we are going to make a brush, and you can draw on any surface. And I get this idea from this um, also um, amazing tutorial, Max Edge, and one of this splash tutorial. So everybody can go check out his channel and this tutorial. What we are going to make is something like this: some oil paint color, paint brush. We will focus on. Thickness and also this kind of like break breakdown area. The second part of the tutorial will focus on the shader, which is the color we are going to achieve. Is something like this. The color will be mixed together, and also we will get this tiny from the hair. We can go Pinterest and. Go study ab about like how it looks. Yeah, something like that. We will achieve something like this. Yeah, you can see the color is mixing like that. We can make something like. Just something that it's in the air. Doesn't have to be on any surface. Okay, let's jump into it. Make a curve and delete the vertex, and we just draw one curve. Create a geometry node inside of this curve, and we make it mesh. Curve to mesh. Curve line. The x to zero point maybe zero point two two point point two and resample the curve. Use lens. Set the lens to be zero point zero five. And also resample the the curve line. To be something maybe like 0.1. We need the grill looks like long from the stroke. Maybe here we can 0.08. And now we need to make it like a brush. It sometimes like um, if it's like dry, so it will break. So like the bottom. And the tip will break. Now we want to delete some jump, some face for the geometry. So set it to face, and also a spine parameter to show the factor of the stroke. But we need to. Capture from here because once it turn into mesh, you won't show it. And we need to compare that. And just plug that in. So, if we give some noise texture, it will be delete like this. But、uh, we need to use a color ramp to control it. We might also need a color ramp to control the other way. Like this looks looks fine, 
just click the plus sign and make something like this make the beginning also have some broken area just set the you know this to we need to like try this a lot to see how, how it works for us so it might take some time okay that will do for now see you in the mesh mode and need three modifier one is solidify subdivision smooth turn the smooth like like higher and we might have to change this yeah, just say that like like maybe something like this number make more strong to see how it looks you can change this a little maybe like longer okay this looks I think even better so the point is you have to you know just don't make it too even like a square you just make it like uh, longer from the one side and then we need to duplicate this and put it somewhere like here and duplicate this plug in there and uh, this goes here boolean math and set it to or so it, it will be like you take both just set the number to, to suit your need like however you think the stroke looks fine Personally, I would like to turn it like the scale here, like down a little bit, not so high like like that. And here we, we need to we would like to like the both side have e kind of equal. The top is a little bit too much broken down, so. I think this looks better. You can try to use different mode, like uh, we because we don't have any surface to draw on, so just don't use surface. Use cursor, and uh, you can try the poly mode or the cursor mode. The poly mode it's more more free and it will be more like uh, correct to compare to the stroke that you actually put down but the, the bezel mode will be more smooth now we will like to make the stroke have the thickness although we all already use solidify to make the thickness but it's even but we don't want it to be just even because in the real life it don't looks even it will be looking like something like this like broken down here will be thick and throw the end will be flat if you cut it like this you can see it might looks like this because the color will the paint will be pushed away from the side so that's what 
we are going to make extrude mesh so we do that after delete geometry so you just plug right away right away you can see something weird just don't worry about it just click off this don't do it individually and you get the thickness already so it's too high set to 0 0.1 first okay so something about the scale we have to define the value for that so we can take the attribute from you know from the from here because it gives the factor of the stroke so we just plug that in first Let's use color ramp use color ramp to control that first we need to make it like other way so turn the white to not so height and turn the black to be little bit gray not complete black so now it looks kind of okay but uh, just uh, the plus sign maybe to the very very top we can make it like uh, black and turn this take another color ramp and set it to default <coughs> or mix, mix RGB turn it to item plug this two and take the value from this and plug that in and turn it all the way up so it give one direction one and here is zero here's one here's zero so what we want is and uh, here's how I do it you have to do like this the edge have to be black Edge have to be black, black and gray and black. And here's the mirror. So it will be like it will be like 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 this. Right. This is what we want. And give it a material. the material gives some reflection so we can see it like so yeah so like this is what we we like you know we can see the stroke like the hair brush it looks it looks fine huh? And here is like here is like thick, and go go toward the end will be not so thick. Now we will like to make it to be paint on the object UV sphere. Maybe make the sphere bigger, subdivide it, go to a curve and switch to surface and just draw on, draw on it 
try to draw like uh, in different direction. Now you may see something is not totally flat on top of it. So that's why we need to between delete geometry and the extrude mesh. We we'll, we have to do it before extrude mesh before the thickness so if we do that after the thickness will be, be flattened so uh, let's take uh, set position and use a percent geometry percent magnetic and just drag this sphere in or whatever the the object you try to pin on and set it to relative and plug to the to be the target and just plug the position to the set position so now you can see it's like uh, on top of the sphere and just tweak the value a little bit and to see how it looks it, it looks better for you set curve radius so control the width and I would like to plug a, a mix RGB here mix and turn this to be to black and just like control it you just like uh, turn tone down the the power of the thickness yeah that will be today and uh, the next part we will talk about the material the shader next time the shader will further to improve the the brush we use no bump to improve the brush stroke like like the hair push the color thank you bye bye